Hey guys, this is James with Auto Odometer, and we have a pretty hammered front grille here with bug guts on the Sequoia. I took a 700 mile round trip and we came back here last Saturday and I'm cleaning it now and it is Friday. I let it go a little bit longer, but I wanted to see how good this bug remover from Griot's Garage actually is. So I wanted to test it out in a spot that was really hammered. So I just chose this right here and I wanted to see how well it did with a one or two wipes. So the bottle said to let it dwell for about 30 seconds. So that's what I did. And then I wiped it off with a microfiber towel. I went for a second application here and let it dwell for another 30 seconds. I wanted to make sure that I got as much off as I could. I did let it go for five days and it was pretty hard, but after a second application, there really wasn't much more improvement. It, After the first application, it got pretty much every single piece of bug off. I was just trying to feel the uh, sens sensitivity or how smooth the clear coat was. Um, and it felt pretty good compared to what it was now it's not a perfect piece of clear coat you can see that there are there is some clear coat damage there but there definitely is no more bugs on the surface so i want to go ahead and clean up the rest of the front grill here so i wanted to kind of measure myself how much i'm gonna use how much of the bottle that i'm gonna use for a pretty hammered uh front grill here so I'm gonna do two applications in this first one I'm gonna lay it on pretty heavy I'm gonna spray here every two to three inches uh, from top to bottom So if you remember when we started, the liquid level was right below the griots, or right below the G in the griots, and now we're just about at the B uh, in the, the, the word bug. Later on here in the video, I'll show you how, uh, just to do a quick comparison picture of the start, and then what the level looks like after our heavy application, and then again, what the level looks like after a small second application. I just wanted to see a show you a quick comparison but after the first heavy application of what it looked like before here's one of the sh before shots on the chrome or the silver pieces and in, in the emblem and then here's what it looks like after so it does a pretty good job but I felt that that maybe one more application would do a little bit better maybe shine it up a little bit better and uh, we'll see what that looks like but you can tell it was really hammered there you can see that there is a little bit more, there, there is some splotches left, 
and I'm not sure if that's bugs or just permanently damaged clear coat. And sometimes you can't really, you can't really get away from that, especially on a 14-year-old car. And here is a second application. I just did a few quick sprays and uh, I didn't slow the bottle down. I moved it pretty fast as I was spraying it. I probably sprayed, had one spray about every foot, whereas the first application I sprayed and I stopped every two to three inches. And here is just a side-by-side -side of when I started with the bottle after the heavy application and then after a small application. And you can see how much that I used just for your own reference if you wanted to purchase some of this Grios Garage bug remover yourself. So here are the final before and after pictures. And I would say this stuff is definitely a must-have if you want to keep your car clean and you don't want to uh, get permanent clear coat damage like this Sequoia actually does have. Um, I purchased this Sequoia about two years ago and I'm trying to keep up with all of the uh, detailing and the maintenance with it just so it can last uh, and be a nice looking car here for as long as possible. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and hit that like button if you guys want to see more detailing, quick detailing uh, tips and tricks like this and product recommendations, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.